mandate several years ago that I was not to be buried with my mantle like Elisha was and they threw a dead man in on him and the dead man came to life, but that I was to take my mantle and pass it on. And that's what I want you to see, that God has a mantle for every one of you. And I want to see it passed on to you. And I'm seeing some wonderful things with my partners. You know, I have a partner who told me the other day, you know, I love you, I appreciate you, I watch your program. But he said, something is happening to me. I have an invitation to go to Myanmar to teach 80 pastors. He said, do you think that's a part of your mantle being cast on me? I said, absolutely. You know, you get a passion for the lost and for the world. So thank you, partners. And I thank every one of you today for tuning in because God has a plan and a purpose for your life. And I have put together something by the Holy Spirit called Knowing Your Identity. And it's a mentoring manual. Who are you? What does God have you do? How did he put you together? And then I have these wonderful CDs that go with it. Know Your Identity. And I'm going to be ministering on You Are His Beloved. What? You say, I'm not an accident. I'm a divine appointment. <laughs> yes, honey, you are a divine appointment. And God is going to share that with you today. And it's going to give you a boost. It's going to give you a push to see your best days are ahead. That those very things He put in you that bother you sometimes are the very identities God has for you. So watch this. Receive what the Holy Spirit wants to say to you and be transformed. Mama, what is this on my suffer? Where I wander streets of night. My friends, their dots, did things that don't want me to see. When you can see my ribs long as my hair is falling out. I can do everything it takes. that you are His beloved? You say, are you kidding me? No, I'm not kidding you. Over 63 times in the New Testament, He says that you are His beloved. 63 is a lot to say that you are His beloved. And this has really been on my heart because people come up to me in airports and all kinds of meetings and say, would you mentor me? And I would love to mentor them all. You know, I was a pastor's wife for 54 years. Do you think I like people? Oh, very much so. And you like to see them grow. You like to see them produce. You know, you like to see them successful. Absolutely. But I can't mentor everyone. Certainly I cannot do it in a personal way. So God put it on my heart to put together a mentoring manual that you can use. And this volume one is knowing your identity. This is so key because mostly we do not know who we are and how valuable we are to Jesus. Now, let me tell you how mentoring started in my life. I had two major mentors. You know, Frida Lindsay, who started Christ for the Nations. I really admired her and I spoke down there quite a bit. And I said to her, how do you pray for every nation in the world every day? Because she did. And so she said, well, I memorized them by continent. So she said, I can go for Europe. I can go for Africa. I can go for Central and South America, you know. And she said, so it takes me about an hour and some minutes to pray over every nation in the world. So I said, that's what I'm going to do. So this mentoring had an effect that is still absolutely revolutionizing my life and the world. 
So I began praying over every nation in the world by continent. But when I would pray over Muslim nations, I would have a very warm feeling for them. Now, how old was I? I was probably 45, 46, I'm 86. And I have been to many of the Muslim nations and the Muslims love me. They love me. And my biggest meetings, my greatest miracles, my biggest number of people being born again are in Muslim nations. But how did it start with the mentoring of Frida Lindsay? I will always be grateful to her. And she was hard on me. I mean, sometimes, you know, she would correct me and it would hurt. But I was so glad. She loved me enough to tell me the truth. So I appreciate mentoring. And when you get this wonderful volume on knowing your identity, this is volume one, it won't hurt you. <laughs> it will only help you. But it may help you see some places where you need to be stronger. And you know, to this day, I pray over nations in the world. I mean, when I get up in the morning, of course I pray for our nation. I pray for our president. But I also pray for a number of other nations because that mentoring transformed my life. Now, listen to me. Listen to me because I want you to get this and I want you to be mentored in the miraculous. I want you to know your identity. And with this first volume, I have also DVDs that go with it. And I have places where you're going to write. I'm really serious about this. You're going to write down certain things. So you need to call in right away and get your first volume. Because folks, I don't want to be buried with my mantle. Did you know Elisha was buried with his mantle? He caught the mantle of Elijah, but he was buried with his. You say, how do you know that? They threw a dead man in on him and the dead man was raised. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to throw my mantle on everyone who has a passion for God and a passion to move in the miraculous, a passion to be used by God. It is awesome. So call in, you know, get your volume one, knowing your identity. And of course, you say, what are you doing today? Well, I picked out one chapter that I want to just minister from. And that is, you are his beloved. You say, well, am I really? Do you know 63 times in the New Testament, he calls you his beloved? That's a lot of times. So when I began to look at this, because I thought all the things I've done wrong or thought or didn't do or should have done, does he think I'm his beloved? If he's calling me that 63 times, he must mean it. And he's calling you that. Are you born again? You say, yeah, but I don't do it all right. I don't either. But he calls you beloved. And this is very key for us. Very, very key. So let's just talk about Jesus. You know, Jesus, when he began his ministry, he went into the wilderness and Satan tempted him. And he gave him three heavy temptations. If you are the son of God, you know, turn these stones into bread. If you are the son of God, jump off this cliff. If you are the son of God, three times. But Satan misquoted the Bible. You say, are you sure? I'm positive. Because God didn't say you are the son of God. He said, you are the beloved son of God. Now, why would Satan leave that out? Because he doesn't want Jesus to know he's his beloved. And he certainly doesn't want you to know. And so I want to share with you just that one chapter alone would really change your life that you are his beloved. It's not an if. It's not an if. You are his beloved. And so when you see that you go from that position, oh, is that awesome? So the Bible says you're accepted in the beloved. Do you feel sometimes unaccepted? Sometimes when I go certain places to speak and to do things, I don't really feel accepted. And I think, you know, this, that, the other thing. But the Bible says I am accepted in the beloved. So I say that because that's what the Bible says. 
and you will see that you are accepted in the beloved. And when I look at people that he calls his beloved, like Paul, he called Paul his beloved. Paul killed Christians. Yeah, he did. He killed Christians. And yet God called him his beloved. John, oh, and I tell you in here, it is so good. John caught on faster than any of them because three times he says, I'm his beloved in the gospel of John. And I think, John, you're kind of arrogant. But you see, folks, we are his beloved and he knew it. And when you know you are loved, when you know you are accepted, that is very key. And I remember when Sarah came home from Europe and she had a real testing of her faith. And she said, Mom, I don't know if you and Dad will love me anymore because I don't believe in Jesus. And the Lord gave me this answer. I said, Sarah, when you were born, you didn't believe in Jesus. We don't love you by what you believe. We loved you because you're ours. And see, there's something that brought a security to her that helped her when she went back to ORU to see, you know, that she's his beloved. He didn't give up on her because she went through doubts and frustrations with her faith. He loved her. Now, have you called in? I'm waiting for your call because I want to mentor you. I want you to be mentored like I was mentored. And I'm going to be sharing with you another part of my mentoring in the second section. But if you haven't called in to get the first one yet, you need to do it. And don't forget, you have the DVDs knowing whose identity? Your identity. And I'll be right back. Hi, I'm Chantel Cooley, co-founder of Columbia Southern University and president of Chantel Cooley Ministries. I want to talk to you today about being mentored. Being mentored creates success in your life. Having wonderful people around you that know more than you imparting to your life will cause great success. When I was 18 years old, Marilyn Hickey came into my life. I read all her books and I began to see how valuable being mentored was. She taught me how to get in the Word and how to pray the Word and activate the Word. I began to get so excited about loving Jesus at a very young age. And now because of that, Standing on the Word has caused my family great success. We came from nothing to now owning a university called Columbia Southern University. Now, if you want to go to the next level and you want success in your life, I want to recommend Marilyn Hickey. She will take you to the next level and she will cause great success in your ministry, in your business. Whatever it is, she can be a great mentor for you. Would you like to be mentored by Marilyn? For your gift of $35 or more, we'll send you Marilyn's Mentored by Marilyn, Volume 1, Knowing Your Identity, Interactive Journal and 5 CD Teaching Set. Through this first anointed volume, you'll be mentored in strategic areas that will take you to the next level of victory and fulfillment in your life and ministry. This foundational volume contains specific content on knowing your identity in Christ, confirming your calling, and preparing you to fulfill it. We'll also send you Marilyn's CD teaching, Discover Your Destiny. This teaching will encourage you to walk in the Lord's plan and destiny that is yours, that only you can fulfill. It will also help you to know the Lord's plan for your family. Learn to live in the miraculous. Enjoy this incredible opportunity to be personally mentored by Marilyn and learn as you apply the teachings from this resource to the areas in your life where you desire more of God. Call or click today to receive this life-changing offer. Mama, what do you see so me suffer? When I wander streets of night. My friends, the adults, did things they don't want me to see. When you can see my ribs when my hair is falling out. I can do everything it takes. Do you know 
you are not an accident. You are a divine appointment. If you don't think that, <laughs> read Psalm 139. He said he kept a book as you were made. So he knew how many legs, he knew how tall your legs would be. He knew how many toes on your feet. He kept a book on you. That is really something. When you see that, you are really his beloved. He has a plan for your life. You're not an accident just happening. You are a divine appointment. And I love that in mentoring you, that you can know your identity. And the thing the devil wants to steal the most from you is your identity. Now, I've kind of set in here some principles that you can follow through that will help you. But I looked at the process of my identity. Have you ever looked at what do you like to do? What are you successful in? What do people compliment you on? You know, growing up, I remember living in Texas, Dalhart, Texas, lying on the ground and seeing an airplane and saying, someday I'll be in an airplane. Never did I dream how much I'd be in that. But that was part of the process. Are there some things you really like to do? Some things you would like to do? If you have a bucket list, watch it. Now, another thing, when I got in seventh grade, I loved Latin. I just loved Latin. And I took actually five years of Latin, took it in university, but I loved languages. I took Spanish, I took French, later I took Greek. Oh, I love that. Why did I love that? I thought, oh, well, you know, I'll teach them someday, someday, maybe I'd be a foreign ambassador, but I was in the process. That's why I want to mentor you because I know you're in the process of something very wonderful. And I want you to call in and get this volume on, Knowing Your Identity, and also get the CDs, Knowing Your Identity. This is very, very important for you. What is your process? So this is what I can go back and look at. Yes, I can look at Frida Lindsay. I started praying over nations. <laughs> now I've been in 134 nations, almost 135, soon 135. But I loved languages. I loved the international scope. I didn't know God would call me. I had no vague idea. I never dreamed it. So I took foreign languages. I liked it. My husband got called into the ministry and, you know, he's my husband. I'm called too. But then when I was 45, I fasted and prayed and said, God, is there something you want me to do in particular? I have his call on me. I love it. And he called me and said, I've called you to cover the earth with the word. Did I know that started in Dalhart, Texas, lying on the ground looking up and saying, I'd like to fly? Did I know that when I had a Latin teacher that inspired me, I would end up taking a lot of Latin and French and Spanish, that I would have a passion for nations. Now watch, because I want you to get this. I want you to stay in your process. Because a lot of you, you have started in it, but you need to be mentored in the process. So Daisy and T.L. Osborne, she prophesied over me one day. And you know, I had children at home. And she said, you will go to leaders of nations and you will be a world evangelist. I thought, really? I think Daisy and Crazy rhyme. <laughs> and do you know, within a short time, I was sitting in the living room of Mrs. Anwar Sadat. Her husband had been a president in Egypt, talking to her and praying with her about Jesus. How did I know? The process, how he puts you together, how wonderful it is that you are his beloved. He has something so good for you. Did I know at that time I would end up in 134 nations and soon it will be 135? Did I know Muslims would love me? But in the process, see, I began to pray over Muslim nations. And when I began to pray over Muslim nations, you know, I'd watch on television and some of their needs and, oh, I think this is so bad. This is so hard. Did I know I would be going to them? Did I know that they hated women, but that they would love me? Did I know 
They hated old women, but they would call me the mom of Pakistan. I didn't know that. I was in the process. And you know, folks, when I think about you and the mantle he has for you and the process of the mantle, I think you just must get this. This mentoring, knowing your identity is key. A lot of you have thought you were an accident. You didn't realize you were a divine appointment. And in every one of these chapters, and there are nine of them, we have life application in it. How you can answer some questions. Because sometimes we think, well, really, is this God? Is this really what you want me to do? And then we have a place where you list people who have inspired you. And, you know, we've had people who didn't inspire us. You know, I've had people who said to me, of all the pastor's wives I know, you're the greatest example of a failure. <laughs> when I wanted to go on television, nine men stood up and said to me, you could never make it on television. You just stay on the radio. And one man said, let's try her. None of those men are on television. I still am. See, you need to identify those things because they will help you when you have certain times when it looks like the door is closed. You know, I've tried to go to Iran many times. Finally, I got in. You know, I went in as a tourist, you know, but really, I have a passion to have a healing meeting there. And now, and it's going to take some things of God, some processes. I believe I'm going to have a healing meeting with an imam, the head of a mosque. But I learned how in the process to speak the things that were so important for who I am in Christ. I learned how to say I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me when I didn't think so. I learned how that God said I can do all things, but also said I'm surrounded with favor like a shield when everybody was saying, ugh, who would want Marilyn Hickey? You know, how do you spell her last name? It rhymes with sticky. You see, folks, you don't know how good God can be to you. You have got to catch the mantle and you've got to have the personal mentoring that I want to give you through this. People run up, I want you to mentor me. I wished I could do it. But, you know, there are thousands and thousands of them. So I put this together so I could personally mentor you and see you successful in the ministry. And you may have a lot of people saying things to you, well, you can't do it. You're too young. You're too old. You're too fat. You're too thin. You're too this. You're too that. But folks, you need to see what God says about you. You need to get this volume one CD, knowing your identity. You've got to see it. You've got to have it. Because someday you will stand before him and he will say, Hey, did you see what I called you to? Did you see the talents I put in you? Did you see the things that I put as desires in you? Did you see that I had a plan for you? Oh, folks. You need to call us, of course, with any of your prayer needs. We want to pray for you. But above all, you need to get volume one, knowing your identity. Let your life be transformed. And there are times I say, oh, I'm surrounded with favor like a shield. And they say, we don't believe in women. But God believes in me and God believes in you, male or female, and he has great things ahead. Hi. I'm Jeannie Ware from Westminster, Colorado. Have you ever needed a nudge or a confirmation of a direction you needed to take in ministry or leadership? That's where I was before Pastor Marilyn mentored me. She was so encouraging and I benefited from her years of wisdom, ministry, and discernment. It was all I needed to launch me to what I felt God was prompting me to do. She wasn't there to tell me what to do. But she did say, yes, this is God and you can do it. She challenged me in areas of my life, but only in that sweet affirming way that is truly who Dr. Hickey is. I've committed myself to this next step God has for me that I received through her mentoring. As leaders, we give, give, give. Allow this godly woman to pour into your life. It was my missing piece. I'm grateful to Pastor Marilyn and her mentoring and I encourage you to do it.
Would you like to be mentored by Marilyn? For your gift of $35 or more, we'll send you Marilyn's Mentored by Marilyn, Volume 1, Knowing Your Identity, Interactive Journal and 5 CD Teaching Set. Through this first anointed volume, you'll be mentored in strategic areas that will take you to the next level of victory and fulfillment in your life and ministry. This foundational volume contains specific content on knowing your identity in Christ, confirming your calling, and preparing you to fulfill it. We'll also send you Marilyn's CD teaching, Discover Your Destiny. This teaching will encourage you to walk in the Lord's plan and destiny that is yours, that only you can fulfill. It will also help you to know the Lord's plan for your family. Learn to live in the miraculous. Enjoy this incredible opportunity to be personally mentored by Marilyn and learn as you apply the teachings from this resource to the areas in your life where you desire more of God. Call or click today to receive this life-changing offer. God has something so wonderful for you, you cannot even imagine it. Because before He created the world, He knew you. That's what He says in Ephesians. And He had a plan for your life. And He put the things in you He wanted to carry out in your life. What are some of the things you're successful in? What are some of the things you just love to do it when people ask you, you think, yes, I love to do that. Yes, I'm very comfortable in that. What are some of the things that you see as needs? I see this need and I don't see it as being met and I feel I have the passion and compassion for it. What are those things? And I just want to take some special time to pray for you for the special plan that God has just for you with your name on it. Isn't that awesome? With your name on it. So please, would you just join me in prayer? I would like you to do something kind of crazy. As you already know, I'm kind of crazy. Put your hand on the television set and we're going to pray. So Father, I just pray for everyone watching this program who has their hand on the television set that they have a revelation of the purpose and the plan that you have for their lives. And that even today, the negative things that have been spoken against them, they are casting on you and knowing you are there and you love them. Thank you for each one, your plan, your purpose for each one in Jesus' name.